So the final race of Trials Day 3 already then, and the final Trials Day as well, of course the season isn't that far away now. This is a three mile five furlong chase. The top one, Motifari Danai for Alex Cherry, Radia, D. Hooley, Plague Runner, Craig Allen, Paradise Lost, Josh Sutherland, G.I. Joe, Leon Van Rensburg, Plein Lukey, Martin Needham, Pyra Cantha, Graham Clutterbuck, Good Time in Ryan Thomas, Sidney, Labanese, Craig Beckwith, Shula Citron, Darren Thompson, Cozy Breda, David Robertson, Caring Emma for Craig Allen and Mary Cassatt for Paul Rhodes. They've been called in and away they go in the rain at Cheltenham. And we've got last season's all conquering G.I. Joe in this, so this will give everybody a bit of a clue as to how they might have improved how they fare against G.I. Joe. But be warned, he did fall a couple of times last season, so that would make the experiment a complete waste of time if he did that. They're at the first of the 24, and they're all safely to the other side with Radia in the lead in the purple silks. A good time in second as they get to the second. And they're all safely over that one as well with G.I. Joe in third, Paradise Lost in fourth, then Mary Cassatt and Pyra Cantha. And Sheila Citron's after that one, and Plyne Lukey is after that one in what are supposed to be the red rum colours a message to Mr Graham Clutterbuck please change my cap to yellow or I will go on commentating strike uh, over fence number three and it's right there in the lead oh, good time in second Paradise lost his third then comes Mary Cassatt as they're down to the fourth which they are all safely over I'm jumping well these want to see some of these in the league I'm pretty sure we'll see quite a few of them to be honest and that was a good Long distance chases in the league with Moors, Millions and stuff. Well, they have quite a few races over this distance. And Radia is in front. From good timing in second. Gap off two or three lengths. Then back to Motifare Danai in third. That was around last season as well. Mary Cassatt is fourth. Then Paradise lost. And then Sheila Citron. Pyra Cantha is after that one. Then Labanese and Plyne Lukey. And Caring Emma and Cozy Breda as they take the fifth. Which they are all safely over. G.I. Joe has dropped to the back. Plague Runner is the absolute last marker, but G.I. Joe did that quite a few times last season. Just used to lose his place in the race and look beaten as they skip over the water and then battle back. So you get to know these horses quite well if you see them regularly enough. And Radia is a new one in the lead by a couple of lengths and going well as he comes down to this ditch. Stood off it but got over it nicely. They're all safely over it and jumping well. Good time in second, Paradise lost third, then Labanese heading closer as they come to this play one. And the leader again a little bit stood off it a little bit. The one that made the serious mistake was Paradise lost and also the grey at the back. Cozy Breda didn't jump it all that well, but Radia and Good Timing are in the lead. One and two, and a four length gap back to Labanese in third as they come to this ditch. Radia jumped that one much better. And they're all safely over it and all jumping well and all still on their feet. Radia in front, good time in second. Paradise lost, recovered from that mistake. He's now back up into third again as they get over number 10. And he's gone this time. Paradise lost. He made a mistake a couple of fences before and paid the price that time. So more like Jockey lost than Paradise lost. And he's out of the race and Radia is in the lead by a good two and a half lengths as they come down to this next one and jump that one nicely from in second place good timing then comes Labanese in third Motifari, Danai and Kieran Emma then G.I. Joe creeping round the outside there's still a good two miles left to go yet though and Radia is in the lead coming to this next one so that one nicely as well good timing second mistake this time was by Plyne Lukey probably wouldn't have made that mistake if he'd had a yellow cap on grey <laughs> It's Radia in front. <laughs> good timing in second. I'm only teasing. It's Radia in front. Good timing in second. Labanese is back in third. Then Motifari, Danai and G.I. Joe. Then Sheila Citron and Plague Runners after that one. Then Kieran Emma. Cozy Braid is getting a little bit closer. And Pyra Cantha is after that one. With Mary Cassatt and Plyne Lukey, the back marker. Now then, the loose horse Paradise lost at the tail. A good jump there by the leader. Made a length in the air and got away from it well. It's a good three clear. Of good timing in second. This will be the last on my next circuit. And Radia will be hoping to get over it in the lead next time as well. But he's three lengths clear. Of good timing as we get a look from the inside. And you can see the socially distanced spectators. They're actually doing it as well, most of them. Which is something of a surprise considering they don't know they're supposed to be doing it. So Radia's in front then. And you can tell that... Uh, 
into waffle mode. And it's Rada here in front from good timing in second. As they race towards the next end, there's still time to get your team sorted out for the league, which I think is starting around the middle of November. Plenty of instructions on the forum as they get to the next. And they're all safely over that one as well. And Rada is in the lead by about four lengths to good time in second. G.I. Joe is in third and looks to be going ominously well as they come to the water nothing ever happens at the water jump they all get over it okay as they always do and radia in the lead by four good time in second then gi joe after that one getting down towards the business end of the race now as they come to this ditch oh and the lead has gone radia stood off that one and the jockey is embedded in the ditch and he made a couple of mistakes already right there but when he wasn't making mistakes he was jumping really well that's left good timing in the lead and there's another faller there Kieran Emma's gone so Kieran Emma is not all that caring to a jockey because she's just planted him in the ground and good timing's in the lead they're now being pressed by the Cheltenham Gold Cup winner G.I. Joe Cozy Broder is another one of those horses from David Robertson's yard that are at the back and then creep towards the front at the business end of the race this one is proving to be just as interesting as we thought it was. Loose horses top and tail in the field at the moment, but it's good timing who's the leader as they come down to this one. And over that one they go. Good jump on the outside. Bo Cozy Breder has now gone into second. But G.I. Joe seems to be going ominously well in third. Bit of a gap back then to play. Rural Motifari Danai. Pyrocanther is after that. Then Sheila Citron and Labanese. Plain Luke is trying to get into it. And then Mary Cassatt going to switch round the outside. They come down to the 21st. They've only got three more to take after this one. They're all safely over that one as well. And it's good timing in the lead. But now being pressed by Cozy Brader on the outside in second. And Cozy Brader takes it up. Cozy Brader's in the lead then now from good timing in second. A bit of a gap back to G.I. Joe. Still going well in third. Then Pyrocanther. Canther and Plague Runners getting into it. Oh, but Plague Runner made a mistake just as he was starting to make his move. That could prove costly. It's Cozy Brader who's in the lead then. G.I. Joe's second. Suddenly good timing's hit the wall and he's now dropping back through the pack. It's Cozy Brader in front by three or four lengths to G.I. Joe in second. Plague Runner back on an even keel. After that mistake, Motifari Danai running a big race in fourth. Then Sheila Citron and Pyrocanther. Good timing's beaten. Plain Luke is trying to run on. Lamanese and Mary Cassatt look out of it. They race down towards the second and last fence then and Cozy Broder gets over the second but he goes right through the top of it and he makes that mistake and G.I. Joe like the true champion he is sees the weakness in the leader and powers past him when he's down on his nose and over the final fence they go and they're all safe in it but G.I. Joe has burst into the lead into the final furlong and he's beginning to put jockeys having a little look round and he's won this pretty comfortably and one or two people are going to be scratching their heads wondering how much they've improved over the season because G.I. Joe has taken this pretty easily indeed up towards the line and G.I. Joe takes it cosy great a second shoot a six one run I'm going to be third played one of Pyra Cantor after that one Mary Cassa was the last one to finish it looks like Mrs. Sutherland, Allen, Robertson and Co. have work to do to catch Leon van Rensburg if they're going to usurp him from the champion spot. Because they haven't caught up with G.I. Joe, it would seem, who took that one remarkably easily. And if you could have got 9-1 to one in a real book is about that, well, we'd all be retired by now, wouldn't we? Anyway, G.I. Joe takes it for Leon van Rensburg. Cozy Brader for David Robertson, a good run in second. Sheila Citron for Darren Thompson, third. Plague Runner for Greg Allen, fourth. Pyra Canther for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth. That one ran on well, and that's your trials day three. We'll be back for the start of the season proper. I think it's sometime in the middle of November. The dates are all on the um, on the on the forum, and. Still time to get yourself sorted out, and thanks to Ryan for joining the commentary team, and we'll see you next time.